Um, there's a lot of apathy in high school. A lot of the students don't want to be there. They don't want to do the work. Um, you know, in order to do chemistry, you have to know algebra. Mm -hmm. And the students in high school don't necessarily know algebra. When I taught high school, I got hired by this rural school in Dawson Springs, Kentucky. And the other natural science teacher, um, chemistry teacher, he had actually handpicked his own classes. Okay. And so he had left me all of the 16-year-old um, freshmen. Wow. That were just waiting to reach a certain age so that they could drop out of the school. Oh, wow. And so I had this full class of just troublemakers mm -hmm. of just absolutely horrible. I mean, they would, you know, I would like turn around and write on the board and one would be asleep. Mm -hmm. And then another student would like super glue the sleeping student's hand to his own forehead while I wasn't looking. And, and that was, that was like a normal day. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And they, no one ever did homework. No one ever turned homework in. Mm -hmm. It was just constant parent teacher conferences. Um, it, imagine teaching people that don't want to learn. Yeah, that could be very discouraging and, yes. and hard to understand. And so do you think that the reason why these students behave that way, I guess, like, without making too many assumptions, I think, obviously, uh, educational access, I'm assuming is limited in rural areas. Mm -hmm. And so do you think the reason why these kids didn't really, I guess, care was because their parents didn't care? I, I think it's probably cultural. They couldn't mm -hmm. understand how they needed it in any capacity. I mean, the same thing that I did. I, I was mm -hmm. from rural Kentucky and I was like, why do I need to take a public speaking class? Yeah. Why do I need to take a psychology class? Mm -hmm. Why do I need to take